In this video, we'll show you how to actually take the measurements uh, involving electric equipotentials. After we have our circuit set up, our conductive paper has the power supply attached to it, the power supply is on, our multimeter is set up in the 20 to less or less uh, voltage range, DC. We go ahead and take one probe and stick it on the conducting surface. This could be anywhere along the line or the conductor itself. Just to make sure everything is correct, make sure that the voltage across the two reads zero when connected to the same thing. So we take one probe and place it somewhere between the two supply source wires. We read right now that it has a certain voltage on the multimeter. So right now I'm reading that it's 1.73 volts. So I keep one probe there and I mark one, two, three, four lines, one, two, three, four lines, and I'm going to write down 1.73 volts. And I had a negative value for that. So I can go ahead. Now I connect my two probes together. Again, they read zero. Now I'm going to trace along the equipotential. And by definition, the equipotential is going to mean that the multimeter should read zero volts. So I'll move a little bit away, and I'll move the probe slightly back and forth until I get zero volts again. Again, I mark that point on, the, on my grid paper in my lab book and move on to another point. So I will continue this until I get one full line done. This will start to give me a pattern that will look like that. Once I get done with that, put the one probe back on the spot, move to a new location in the very center, write down that the very center point was 2.12 volts, and continue along the line. When you're finished, you should have a contour plot that has at least five different lines on it and gives you a good representation of what the equipotential contours look like. 